And NHL 12, again, your top end speed wasn't necessarily that breakneck speed. It was very consistent, but you can pretty much cut on a dime. You can actually cut on a 90 degree angle. When you're traveling at top speeds, that's nearly impossible. And once you cut like that and you're under that control, you, you also had a tremendous amount of accuracy to either pass or shoot. Let's look at what NHL 13. Thanks, Dino. So I'm going to take the team of Stanfields again. I'm going to get to top end speed, get to about the, uh, the face off dot in the offensive zone, and then try and cut in as, as sharply as I can. Uh, watch how momentum and physics plays into this turn. So I got Stanfields going top end speed and get to the circle here and try and cut to the net. I barely got to the front of the net, got to the post, right? I want to show you this in replay real quick. So Stanfield's coming down. Full speed, gets to the outside, he goes to cut in. So now we've got the laws of physics working against him, momentum working against him. Watch, actually look at his, uh, look at his right skate there as he's trying to cut back into the net. Watch the skate spray as he's kind of almost, almost drifting like a car as he gets to the front of the net there, right? So in HL12, I could have got to the dot here, cut in on a dime, got to the front of the net, got to where I want. So think about how this changes gameplay as well. When you see a guy who gets the corner going wide on you, just like we saw in that David Booth clip, you don't need to follow him to the outside. You know that for him to have a scoring chance, he's got to get to the front of the net. So you can pick your line and try and meet him right at the post there, right? So again, understanding how top end speed, how explosiveness, and how momentum and physics all play together allows you to uh, to adapt your game because the game is just more predictable based on those elements. Thanks, Ramar. Just to, just to add to that as well, as you're going at the top end speed and you want to make that sharp turn, we'll actually give you that feedback in the control. It'll rumble. You can actually lose your blade. You can, the physics, you actually can lose your footing and actually slide into the end boards there if you're trying to cut too harsh. So it actually plays an element there. Plus, if you're a defenseman, you might only have to give him a little shove and again, he'll lose his footing. Um, so again, it's really about that relationship between speed and control.